Well, there's a lot going on. I mean, there's a lot going on with uh, with, with 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 Smiley. Um, I mean, when we first meet him, he is, as I say, he's been he's been forced into retirement. His wife has has left him, but the but the the skill with the great skill with. Uh, Smiley is that he wants to become he wants to be unnoticed he want he wants to be invisible I mean this is the polar opposite to sort of the James Bond world where he's driving around in an Aston Martin and and, and you know wearing a, a, a white tuxedo jacket um, you know you would you would pass Smiley on the street or in the supermarket you know some of the other characters however in this are are a little more a little more eccentric like well Bill Hayden well, I'm sure Colin will tell you. You know, with his, with his, he's, he's a little bit of a dandy, with his, uh, with his red socks and his suede shoes. Um, but, but, uh, but there's, a, there's a lot, there's a lot going on, there's a lot going on with George. But he never really gives. He doesn't really give very, give very much away. A great, great poker player. He is indeed. Uh, talk about how the story explores these themes of trust and betrayal. Well, it's. I mean, it's set in the. It's obviously it's set in the seventies, and it's set in the you know the Cold War era. But I think one of the. Uh, one of the, the reasons why the the, the books, um, and it's a, it, in fact it is books. It's a trilogy. It's the Carla trilogy. So you have Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, Honorable Schoolboy, and then Smiley's People. I think the reason why they've enjoyed the longevity that they've had. Is because it really is sort of about people, and about things that, that we that, that we can readily recognise, which is about love, love lost, uh, loyalty, um, and uh, and betrayal, and that, that really the, the the sort of the Cold War aspect of it is very much a sort of is a is a, is a backdrop. It's 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 personal betrayal and betrayal of one's betrayal of one's country. And really quick, if you were a spy, what would your secret weapon be? Um, my secret weapon. Um, I was a spy. Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you, you know that wonderful movie. There will be blood. Sounds wonderful great. movie. Um, you know the character Daniel Plainview as a kid with him, and it gets him in the door. And charms the thing. I think I'd travel with a child. Good that one. would be my secret weapon. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one.